So if you're just starting on your spiritual journey, then some tips to help you on your way are to uh, think about how can you embody more of you. So as you're opening up to whatever spiritual path is resonant, you can have that clear sense of your own heart and uh, know, know yourself in that process and be in your body. So um, being rooted here on earth and, and the lower chakra centers, uh, root, sacral, and solar plexus is super important if you began the process of opening up the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown because um, you want to have like a good balance in your entire body in that process. And without that, um, you know, you can kind of like float away a little bit. <laughs> so all about, you know, having like the whole body engaged and really working on, on all of those uh, centers of uh, where, where our, our, our powers lie. And so in that process, you can begin to think about uh, a few concepts that I call um, the spiritual gifts for alignment. And so these are ways of being, ways of, of being in our bodies, of embodying different energies, different qualities of our own self. So you could think of these as archetypal energies in many ways. And so uh, the first, uh, I'll, I'll go over five, uh, the first is sovereignty. And sovereignty is really like having a very clear sense of where you are, who you are, and what, what thoughts, what emotions, what feelings, sensations in your body are yours and what's not yours. And so it's a way of claiming our own truth and standing in our power when we have that sovereign connection with ourself. And this is a really big topic. <laughs> There's a lot here. Can get into um, you know things around like reality versus fiction, the organic versus the synthetic, and duality um, when we're talking about sovereignty. But as a simple place to start, you can simply, like right now, feel into your own heart center and just notice like what it's like there to reside inside your heart and see if that's available for you to access in your body or it might feel a little bit numb or a little bit cut off, right? And so it's like taking a temperature check there of like that one simple invitation and, and where do you land on it? What do you notice for you? And just gathering that information, awareness, right? Uh, is always a great first step <laughs> with, with all of these gifts and as you're on your spiritual journey. So now let's talk about vibration. Vibration is everything, <laughs> literally all of it. If you look around, everything is, is vibrating. So our own bodies, back to embodiment, our own bodies in our nervous system ideally is having this gentle wave of sympathetic activation in the body, doing things, and then parasympathetic resting, coming back down that wave. And so we're riding this ideally in our own nervous system all of the time. Right, there's the wave of the breath, the inhale and the exhale. Right, receiving and letting go or giving, right? So in, in, and then from the as above, so below. So in your own body's experience of vibration, you can then look out at the world and the universe and beyond and see like, oh, wow, everything is vibration. And when you start to kind of feel that 
inside of your own experience and your own spiritual journey, a lot can start to activate from there. And so let's talk about next trust. Hmm. This is a big one. <laughs> Uh, because there is this um, duality that we find ourselves in <laughs> for the most part. Uh, and uh, there's, there's trust and there's fear. And fear is a really big energy right now. And so it uh, can, can throw a lot of uh, folks off, especially in their first starting their spiritual exploration. Because um, if we look historically, <laughs> a lot of what we've trusted about our own gifts, our own spiritual sovereignty, has been um, why uh, many of our souls were persecuted. And so there can be a lot to heal around like fully trusting our own heart. <laughs> the fact that we are sovereign, the fact that we are vibrational. And so this runs into like some very deep wounds when you start to explore trust. And especially like trusting the lineages that you may be connected to or drawn to. So some of us have experiences in past lives, past, present, future, time is an illusion. <laughs> so uh, some of us are, are having experiences, parts of our soul um, that are in other lineages besides maybe the lineages that our own uh, blood is from in our veins. And so being able to like see what is available to you as like the deepest point of connection for your being and trust that you can be in right relationship with a lineage that may not be your ancestral lineage, right? And also in that, perhaps trusting that there can be healing work around your ancestral lineage so that some of those uh, wounds that may uh, have come in to your experience can be healed when it comes to your spiritual path. And in that way, finding like integration, we can look at the ways that traditions, spiritual traditions that exist now in the world can be uh, very similar <laughs> to spiritual traditions that um, were, you know, uh, kind of lost along the way because of, of persecution and oppression. And so getting curious there in your journey with trust would be my invitation. And then there's this beautiful uh, spiritual gift of boundaries. And boundaries, boundary magic is uh, really, really important for um, your journey of, of sovereignty and your journey of like understanding again, like what is you, what is not you, and what is true for you, what is not true for you. Like, where do you want to stand on things? And, and it is like the, it's, it's a holding a line for your own self of like what your values are, what is an integrity for you. Where do you find resonance and where don't you? And so often the journey with boundaries is like, uh, kind of maybe not knowing where they are until they're overstepped. And so for many, uh, there can be this uh, like doormat quality to life, <laughs> like kind of letting you know, others or our own um, expectations kind of wear on us until a bit of a breaking point where we find our boundary and then we can learn to adjust it from there to so that it can uh, feel safer to be in relationship um, with uh, w what we want to open our hearts to and then kind of the other side of that is that um, some 
have boundaries that are very far extended, so like nothing can really come in. And so if you find your like a lot of blocks around the heart, a lot of protective, self-protective uh, mechanisms at play, then the work becomes actually like finding a place where it can be safer for the boundaries to be like a little closer in and letting the connection, whatever, it doesn't need to be a connection with a, another, right? It can be connection with God, <laughs> spirit, right? Whatever word you want to use for your higher power. And uh, sometimes there can be fear even to like letting that love, that, that like infinite love uh, that is unconditional, like, like true love, letting that land, you know, even like, like with a tree, with a flower, maybe with, with like parts of nature, animals or, or elements or whatever it is, like, can you really let that come in? Right. And then with all these beautiful energies, you know, the sovereignty, the vibration, the trust, the boundaries, there is an opportunity to open to celebration and feeling the, the joy that is this, you know, like the, the, the childlike celebration of the wonder of it all. And that's really when things click in because like, okay, wow, yes, thank you. <laughs> I can feel that joy in my being and I can move in, in that embodied way in joy when I'm creating whatever it is that I want to create in my life, whatever it is that's true to come through in this moment. And uh, there's, you know, it's important to, to hold joy as possible, but also not as like a higher emotion that's better than other emotions, right? Feel it all. Allow the body to process through uh, the, the, the grief, the shame, the fear, the anger, right? Uh, uh, to name like some of the kind of like primary core emotions that sometimes need to move through our systems and release from our nervous systems to be able to actually experience authentic joy. So um, holding, holding celebration as a possibility in your journey as you're, as you're uh, calling in spiritual awakening, uh, spiritual deepening, you know, greater alignment with what is your path here. So thank you for, uh, for choosing this, you know, for showing up to all of what may be alive for you with curiosity and uh, trusting your heart. <laughs>